here so we're going to do a problem from our workbook number 6-16 it's a running fix we do it without current and then with current and so here is the problem and this refers to buoy r romeo or uh, here here and then it says we're southwest of that somewhere and so here's what how we start out at, at, at 12.35, 12.35 time, we have a bearing to that buoy of 043. So that's the first thing we plot. Then at 12.55, we have a bearing of 341 to the same buoy. Now, uh, here is the difference, 12.55 minus 20, that's 20 minutes at six knots. That is two miles. That's a third of an hour. That's a third of that. That's two miles. So between between this site and this site, the boat went uh, two miles in direction 085. So let's let's start that out. I'll use these these rulers here, these plotters. Uh, one at 85. Let me just see where is my 85 here. Um, 085. At 85. Oh no, that's my course. Okay, my course is 085. What's the first bearing? The first bearing is 43. Okay, sorry. Okay, it's first bearing is 43. So I line up this point right here on the line, and this point down here is at 43. So I've got, this is 43, and that's zero. So that's the right bearing right there. And then we have to just move this uh, down to uh, here. And there's that line right there that's plotted for the course, this line right here, that line. That's 043, like that, that's 043. Now, the next thing, what did we do? Okay, then later, later it's 341. So 341, that would be something like, um, here, I, again, I put this at zero. You know, that's different. You, know, you could use the parallel rule, parallel plotter. That's one way. But I, I want to get as careful as I can. These are usually the most accurate. So I put that right on there. Then this has to go 341, something like that. So here, here's right on zero. And here's 340, 350, 341 right there. So then you hold that. And then this goes up here. And then you slide that down, and then you draw this line. You see that line that's right there, this line. That is right lined up right there. So we have at 12, at 12, um, at 12.35, we were somewhere on this line. And at 12.55, we were somewhere on this line. And we know that wherever we were, we went uh, 2.0 miles in direction 085. So at any place on this line, I want to draw. Um, I want to draw um, my course line 185. So um, let's see here. See this is a little bit tricky because down here that I can't. I can't do these here because I don't have any lines here. So I have to move up here. Um, so I go 80, 85. You see that's like. That's right like that. 85 is here and 80 and zero is there. And then I put this on here and then I moved it a little bit, but let me just here, let me get it again. Okay, I've got it pre-drawn so it doesn't, okay, there's zero and then 85. Then I come down and then there's the line. You see, that's the line right there that I would draw. I'm just picking any point here and draw a line. Any point on here, draw a line that way. And that's my course 085 from some random point here. Now, I've got to go two miles in that direction. So I get the dividers over here and set them to two miles. Here's one, two, right there's two miles, right? Two miles, real close, okay. Then I come up here and this is where I started. And this is my start. And then, wait a minute, where's my, wait just a minute, did I get two miles? Hang on just a minute. Um, no, I didn't. Here, well, okay, sometimes it's valuable so you don't make the same mistake I did here. Look, let's do this, do this with any chart you're working with. Here's five, there's six, there's seven, 
there's eight, there's nine. So I put this here and called it two, and that's because I just wasn't thinking, right? And if I had made this mark, I wouldn't have made that mistake. All right, so now I come here and get my actual, really honest to goodness, two miles from here, uh, seven to nine. Okay, so there's now two miles. And so then you come along here at the point you started, and at two miles you make a mark. And that's where I went. This is no current. I'm just DR, DR from here to here, no current, that's two at B right there. So it's that point. Now to get, then I have to move this, this point to over to here, over to that line right there. So I take this and line it up with, I'm gonna line up this line with this line here, like that. Now that's set there in the right angle. And I do this and I move it over. You see that's that's there and that's looks uh, rotated just a tweak, okay. And then I come over to here and um, to my two miles right there and draw the line, you see. So that's this line getting moved over to here. So that's right over to here Okay, like that, and I draw that line. And where this line, this is then, okay, I should draw this right. This is then called, what would this be called? This is called uh, 12, 1235. And then this line here is called 1235 goes to 1255. And then the intersection of those two right there is the, that's a, that's a, a running fix between those two times with no current. And then the answer asks you, where are you relative to the buoy? So you would put this here to here and put that here to here. And what did I, okay. And then you come over here and measure it. And I get, uh, well, I get something like 1.51 or 1.52. What did I write down here? I wrote 1.52. Okay, so I get 1.52. The book says 1.5. The video came up with 1.49. All right, that's that. Now we got to add current. And the first part, B, is you got to, we do the same thing. We actually same motion, same data, but now we know, or with the title tables or current tables tell us that we believe there's two knots of current. No, wait a minute. There's two knots of current in direction 295. So two knots in 20 minutes, that'd be two thirds of a mile, which is, um, uh, 0 0.67, 0 0.67 miles. That's how much the current moved. So then what you do is you go back here, uh, and what direction did it go? Two, 290, uh, 295. So you see, when we went from here to here, when we went from here to here, that was two miles, then the current moved, then the current moved in direction 295 by amount of uh, uh, point six, seven miles. Okay, so the first thing you do, then you have to put in, I've got it pre-drawn, but you'd have to put in that 295, and then you see that's here, 295, let's take okay. it. That's, that's 295, that's zero, like that. And then you move this down, and you see that that line I've drawn there, you can see that, that line is at 295. So that's a 295. And so then what you need is 0.67 miles. I'm back over here. 0.67 is here zero. Uh, that's point, uh, zero, point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.67, you know, something like, let's see. Okay, point 0.67, something like that. Now you come over here and I just went that way and put it there and made that mark right there. So you see now, now my DR between, my DR between this site and this site is like this. I went this way for this uh, 20 minutes and the water meant that way. So now when I advance this line, I don't advance it up to here, I just advance this line to here. And that's what we did, okay? So you start and you take this line, line it up here like that. You line that up like that. That's all lined up. Then I move this guy back, but I just bring him to right here. You see that? I've just, I've just taken it to that point right there like that. 
and then I draw a line like that, and there's the intersection there. So this is the answer for B right here. So this is, again, this line would be called 1235 advanced to 1255, but now with current, with current. And so the answer to B then, I would take these, these tools, these dividers, put here to here, right there. You see that, that's how I set that up. Then you come over here and measure it. And what do I get? Um, I get just, Wait a minute, where is it? B. B to here to right. Okay, let me measure that again. Point, point 0.5, point 0.6, point, point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.7, point 0.8, 0 0.8 exactly. What do I have here? 0 0.8, okay. So I got for the plot 0. Point, oh, the book has 0. 0.8, the video 0. 0.75. All right, that's that. Now, there's one more example, and then we're done. It's real quick. So this one, we're doing another current problem, but this way, the current, when we go our two miles this way, the current's then moving due south at one knot. So a current moving one knot in 20 minutes is 0.33 miles. So the, the water's moved 0.33. So I've sailed my boat two miles in that direction, and in 20 minutes, and then the water moved down to here. So my, uh, so I advanced this line to this point here. All right, and so we do that. I set this again up here, just exactly like that. Bring this up, and then bring this down to this point right there. You see, I'm, this is the point I'm coming to. This is the, I've drawn in the answer already, but there you go. And then you draw the line like that. And here's the answer for C, it's that point right there. That's with the other one. Okay, let's put the dividers on that. From right there to right there. There to there, whoop, right there, something like that. And that is, um, here, point 0.5, and I've got 1.1.5678. I've just got a hair over 1.8. Where I got 1.8 before. Let me just check once more. We're on C. I'm going to go right there. No, I would say that's, wait a minute. I'm stretching out over the chart. Something like right there is the center of the buoy symbol. Now, Let's go back here, right here. Well, that's pretty much right on 1.8. Uh, maybe 1.81 or something like that, 1.81. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll say 1.81 or something. Okay, so that, and the book had, oh, the book had 1.8. All right, that's that exercise, and we'll, we'll, we'll stop there. So we have it done now with electronic charts and with paper charts.